watching WGAL 8. Now, coverage you can count on continues from the Susquehanna Valley's most watched news team. This is News 8 at 530 in HD. Well, the bills in question could have implications for everybody who uses the Internet. Chuck Davis, a professor at the Harrisburg University of Science and Technology, joins us live. Mr. Davis, what kind of changes could we expect to see if this becomes law? Hi, Janelle. Well, you know, the, um, these bills were created to stop the online piracy of digital content, such as movies and music, as we just heard. But they're going about it in the wrong way. Rather than addressing the piracy of the digital content, what they're doing is proposing to block access to non-U.S. sites that are suspected of hosting digital content. Well, do, do you think that this legislation can actually succeed in battling piracy, which is what it's designed to do? I, I don't believe so. I, I think what this legislation would, would essentially do is enable uh, internet service providers and the government the ability uh, to use censorship techniques that are used in countries such as China and Iran today. Well, would the tech industry suffer from this kind of legislation, do you think? I think so. I think it would stifle innovation, especially with smaller companies that are trying to uh, uh, make a presence on the internet. Um, being able to, or not being able to police and, uh, the content that users are posting um, would, would not only stifle the uh, innovation, but make it, uh, uh, make these small companies unable to do business on the internet. It's, it's hard to know where uh, the whole freedom to handle all of this, you know, it's, it's still an emerging industry even though it's been around for several years now. It really is. Chuck Davis from the Harrisburg University of Science and Technology, thank you for being with us tonight. Thank you, Janelle.